It's live from last week, episode 17. Let's go! Welcoming my fellow jaywalkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. A little bit earlier today, the fiance and I were craving some ribs. So what did we do? We walked down to the closest no frills to buy some oven ready ribs. And it's interesting because we did buy two different kinds of ribs to try and compare. So here's how that meal prep and dinner went. But the thing is, I'm not that much of a food critic, but by telling from the music video, I thought both ribs were awesome. So I just finished my workout for the day, the Insanity Max 30 Pulse Workout, which, even though it's only a recovery workout, was still challenging in my opinion. Nonetheless, before I go in for my first of my three scheduled night shifts, I have some great news to tell you guys. The Blue Jays just defeated the Yankees in the rubber match of the three-game series on a ninth-inning walk-off home run by Bo Bichette. Don't forget the celebration at the end. Keeping on the topic of baseball, I have a birthday greeting for Mrs. Paulette. Happy birthday, Mrs. Paulette. I remember when I was growing up, you'd be cheering on Matt and supporting our team from the bleachers when we were playing baseball when I was younger. But anyway, say hi to the family for me and I hope you had a great birthday, Mrs. Paulette. We also have one more birthday greeting for old Ben. Happy birthday, old Ben. I just wanted to say I appreciated the fun times that I had with you and the FSAT gang back when I was in university. So yeah, old Ben, I hope you're doing well and you're staying safe and I hope that you had a great birthday. So I haven't done this in a while, but I forgot just how difficult it is to work out in between night shifts. And today I did two workouts, let alone doing only one. I did the ab attack workout right after the cardio challenge. And to be honest, even though it's only 10 minutes, the ab attack workout was very advanced. But with having instructors like Sean T, it makes things a little bit more motivational. I mean, look at this. He mentions, it's all right if you start to die. What? And there's nothing more motivating in a workout than death. And I appreciate his concern while we're working out, asking us, are you still breathing? But anyways, time to drink my post-workout shake, go shower, get ready for work for my second of my three night shifts, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank goodness that today is my rest day from my Insanity Max 30 workout, especially because last night's night shift was pretty busy. And it's catching up to me because I'm feeling pretty exhausted today. But before I go for my third of my three night shifts tonight, I have some birthday greetings for ya. First of all, I want to wish a happy birthday to Claudio! Happy birthday, brother! This is a guy that I've known from my university days back at Wysik. And it looks like he's doing big things like his YouTube channel. So guys, check it out. Just want to say, Claudio, that I thoroughly enjoy your video game and action figure posts. Hope you're doing well out there, Claudio, and I hope you have a happy birthday. And secondly, I have a happy birthday greeting to one of my childhood best friends, Candice. Happy birthday, Candice. I'm remembering some of my childhood memories with you, such as doing a 24 marathon and doing carpool karaoke before it was popular. And I promise, after this pandemic is over, one day I'll eventually visit you and your family up in Peterborough. I hope you're staying safe out there. Don't let the bananas get you. And I hope you have a happy birthday, Candace. So today was a little bit rough because I only had three hours of sleep post night shift. But since it was my first day off in half a week, I felt compelled to be productive today. So I just finished off my Insanity Max 30 workout, 
doing exercises like this. But even though it looks like I'm struggling, I see that I'm making improvements every time I work out. So that's some good news. And other good news today is that today is Ashley's birthday. Happy birthday, Ashley! This beach volleyball friend of mine allowed me to shoot clips and highlights of us playing beach volleyball together back in the summer, which YouTube video link I'll post up here, so go check it out. Anyways, Ash, I hope you had a great birthday and I hope to see you at the beach this summer. But continuing on, I still felt like I had energy to do a little bit more after my Insanity Max 30 workout today. So I dusted off my pull-up bar. I was going to install it in my bedroom door frame, but it just wasn't fitting right. So I wondered, hmm, maybe I'll try to install it on the front door. I saw the door frame and it looks like I have to unscrew some door hinges first. So let's go try it out. So it definitely looks like that pull-up bar really worked last night and it looks like I'll be using it more in the future. But before I go in for a random night shift tonight, I just have a couple of birthday greetings for today. First, wanted to wish a happy birthday to one of my co-workers, Ramos. Happy birthday, Vanessa. A quick memory that we have is spending 2019 New Year's with you at work and celebrating that holiday with all my other co-workers. I hope you're staying healthy, doing well, and you have a great birthday, Vanessa. Y uno más, mi amiga, Brendany. Feliz cumpleaños, Brendany. Yo recuerdo cuando tú viviste en Toronto con mi tío, tía y mi primo, Earl. Espero que tú tienes un buen día, Brendany, y feliz cumpleaños otra vez. Oh my gosh, I guess today is that day. There's a stay-at-home order and there is no Wi-Fi. Why me? Why? And I guess people are having difficulties with their networks today. Oh, I guess Wi-Fi is back on. Meaning time to continue with today's segment. So, post night shift, I was able to nap for a couple of hours. But it was daunting knowing that once I woke up, I had to do my Insanity Max 30 workout. But the thing is, when you're doing a workout program, you have to stay consistent. And the fact of the matter is, once I finished my workout, I felt accomplished and I can go on with my day. So just a motivational reminder to you guys that if you stay consistent in your workouts, you will see results in the end. And speaking of amazing stories, over the weekend, I saw one of these guys roaming around Toronto. And they're so cute! Cute enough that I had to make a small music video on them. For those that don't know what it is, it's a little food delivery robot that delivers orders for restaurants around the GTA. And if you go to this website up here, you'll learn more about it. But anyways, it's coming to the end of the week, meaning it's time for the lesson of the week.
Hope you guys learned something this week and hope that you guys utilize that life hack sometime in the future. Another cool thing today is that the fiance went and surprised me with some bubble tea. She even got the menu. And today she got the cheese milk foam green tea as well as getting the grapefruit green tea with agar bubble. My reviews on them is that the grapefruit one was a little bit too sour for my liking. Oh, so sweet or bitter or bittersweet. But if you have sour taste buds, I think you would like it. And the cheese milk foam green tea was a little bit different. I think it's because I'm used to more sweeter bubble teas. Plus it didn't come with bubbles or tapioca balls. Maybe because the rumors are true that there's a worldwide shortage of bubbles for all the bubble tea restaurants in the world. Anyways, we're gonna wrap up this week's episode. So if you guys have enjoyed this week's episode, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. I'd like to thank you guys again for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.